Fox's Joel Klatt joining us now from L.A. He will be calling the game between Ohio State and Oklahoma Saturday in Norman. Joel, thanks for taking the time to do this. Let's get a primer first for Big Ten fans on the Sooners. Give us the thumbnail of what you think we need to know to be ready for this game. It's all about their rushing game. You know, their, their run game is so important, Dave, to what they do. When you look back to last season, they struggled early in the season getting the run game going, and then Texas ultimately beat them, and then they committed to the run. Lincoln Riley, the new offensive coordinator from last year, came from East Carolina, where he was more of an air raid guy coming from the Mike Leach system where he really cut his teeth as, a, as an assistant coach. And once he committed to running the football with Samaj P. Ryan and Joe Mixon, that's when they finally started to get on a roll and ended up winning the Big 12 and getting themselves into the playoff. I thought their inability to get the run game going against Houston is what ultimately cost them. If they can commit to giving the ball to Samaj P. Ryan and giving the ball to Joe Mixon, they've been almost unbeatable. So to me, that's the biggest key for the Sooners, and that's where their whole team is built. I know Baker Mayfield is great, and the defense can be questionable at times, but to me it's all about that run game and the commitment to it from the offensive coordinator, Lincoln Riley. Let's focus in on that defense a little bit. Small sample size from this year. I mean, the one competitive game the one against Houston, the one they lost, but it seems to me the way to attack them from watching that game is through the air. It is because up front they're pretty stout, you know, and, and even Urban Meyer, I'm sure you've heard uh, some of his press conferences and some of the things that he said during the course of the week. Up front, they're as big and physical and, and good as anybody in the country, even Alabama, and that's what, uh, you know, Meyer has said uh, throughout the week. They're so good with their hands. Technically speaking, they're, they're phenomenal up front. They've given up less than three yards per rush in each of their first two games. That includes the Houston game. But if you do attack them through the air, they play an aggressive man-to-man -man style of defense on the outside. They like to use that style. But what that tends to do is that opens you up for big plays, whether that's in the run game or in the passing game. And they gave up some of those big plays, in particular the back shoulder fade to Houston. That's where they were really hurt. So JT Barrett and some of those wide receivers like Noah Brown, they could be in for a big day on Saturday night. Yeah, I guess that's my next logical question here is knowing Ohio State's personnel like you do, are they good enough to take advantage of that, particularly in the pass game? Well, they're, they're certainly talented enough and athletic enough on the outside. I've been very impressed with Noah Brown since he's come back. Obviously, everyone knows about that injury from fall camp a year ago, and now he's finally back on the field. He's such a dangerous threat. I think the real threat for them is Curtis Samuels. Uh, this is a guy who's Percy Harvin-esque in terms of his hybrid nature, and that's coming straight from Urban My Meyer's mouth. He said he had to go back to some of the game plans and film that he used at Florida with Percy Harvin to make sure that they were exhausting all possibilities of how to get Samuel the ball and how to get him involved in the offense. Th that's the one weapon that I think they really want to tackle Oklahoma with, in particular from the slot, uh, both running the ball and throwing the ball. But they're certainly talented enough to, to attack and have success against this Sooner defense. Joel, how big a factor do you think the Tom Herman element is in this game? I mean, on one hand now, you've got an Oklahoma team that saw a Tom Herman offense, and as we know, yeah. he's a protege of Urban Myers, and so he might have a sense of what to prepare for. Then the flip side, of course, is you have the relationship with Urban Meyer and Tom Herman where he can just pick up the phone and say, tell me what we need to know about this Oklahoma team. Well, in this case, blood is certainly thicker than water because Tom Herman is going to be fighting for his own family, which is the Houston family. If I was Tom Herman this week, I would have lost my cell phone so that Urban Meyer couldn't call me and I couldn't give any advice to my old boss because Tom Herman, quite frankly, in this day and age of subjectivity and, and in particular resumes when we get to the end of the season, he needs Oklahoma to win. Yeah. You know, he's going to be riding around in the Sooner schooner at times if the <laughs> Oklahoma Sooners are scoring touchdowns because he needs Oklahoma to win to boost the resume and potentially bump Houston into the playoff come the end of the year. They're definitely good enough. We saw that week one against Houston. They're going to have another marquee matchup against Louisville down the line. They need Oklahoma to now get going. The best feather in their cap would be as if Oklahoma were to win this game and go on to win the Big 12, Houston would have a great and legitimate chance to go to the playoff in that sense. So uh, I think he's going to be rooting for Oklahoma. Maybe he gave some bad information to Urban Meyer this week, <laughs> where to attack him uh, that maybe is not the case. That's what I would do at least, but that, hey, that I would be funny. selfish in that sense. No, you don't think about it, but life's about incentives, right? And his incentive is certainly 
for Oklahoma to win the game. Ohio State is so young, as we know. How big a factor is experience in a game like this? Yeah, it's, it's so interesting. I think that two, th two things jump out to me when it comes to experience is inexperienced teams usually act like road teams, okay? Because what an inexperienced team is is a team that doesn't know what they don't know. And normally when you play poorly on the road, it's because you're not prepared for circumstances that you don't or, or are unaware of. So for me, Urban Meyer is so good with inexperienced teams for the same reason that he's great in true road games. I'm sure you guys have talked about it. He's 18-0 and 0 in true road tilts at, at Ohio State as their head coach, and it's because he prepares players for what they, for what they don't know is going to go on. He, he exhausts everything that goes on. Uh, he exhausts their preparation. Uh, he's a great coach in that sense. This is a team that I think is going to be ready. He's been preaching to them about preparedness and understanding the game plan as opposed to worrying about tickets and things of that nature like they're going to get bombarded from their families for. So uh, this, this is in the same vein of that. Urban Meyer is going to have this team ready regardless of it, if they're inexperienced because of his experience in true road games. Joel Klatt from Fox Sports. Have a great call in Norman. Thanks for taking a few minutes to speak with us. Yeah, you got it, guys. Have a good one.